hello and welcome back hope you're good doing well so we are having uh, kiwi yen set up over there so kiwi yen is setting up for another breakout over there for next leg lower so in the previous uh, setup we were expecting this to break out there during the inflation data and to continue to keep dragging more lower so price slightly went higher back to that previous top and then we got a breakout to the downside so offered better place to go short so let's look at the previous video analysis and then we're going to look at the update what to expect from uh, you know uh, kiwi yen for the next move yeah so remember they're going to be a red decision on it and uh, that uh, redesign can offer you a better opportunities ahead of that during that redesign okay so let's look at the previous video analysis so i'm, so I'm gonna fast forward that that we're gonna move on back to this the setup quickly and welcome back hope you're doing well so this is going to be the evn setup it's setting up for a nice breakout for the downside so if we're gonna look at the daily time frame daily time frame is still in a bullish trend we can see over there the trend is still bullish right but it's setting up for a drop over there at that top okay, so which can extend all the way back to this previous low for longer term so the the target you are looking for for a short term going to be these these lows first right and uh, if drop is going to be sharp then you can extend your target all the way back to that previous low for longer term and so if i'm going to look at the lower time frame we are having a four hour time frame correction on it and that correction is simply setting up for a breakdown so you are specifically looking this correction to break out when there's going to be inflation data on us so when inflation data will break out we, when we will have inflation data so and during that you're looking this to break down aggressively and continue to keep falling okay so i'm going to look at the lower time frame this lower time frame there is a wet channel or wedge we can say that okay this channel price is just simply running within that channel and uh, setting up for a breakout downside okay so i'm going to pull out retracement areas so that's a retracement so you are looking for a short breakdown correction there okay and continue to keep dragging lower for longer term to the downside so it's setting up for a breakout and you are looking for that breakout to continue keep falling okay so the this is the price you are watching looking for you know short term targets targets within these areas all right within these areas so these are going to be the targets you are watching all right i guess a short breakdown aggressive sell-off specifically during the cpi data us cpi data and a, pull, a pullback correction and continue to keep falling Hope that makes sense so thank you okay so that was the previous video analysis so if i'm gonna look at the calendar all right so so it is being expected that we're gonna have a rate hike on uh, new zealand from the the rbnz on wednesday 17th of august so it is highly expected that they're going to raise the interest the interest rate with 50 basis point back to up to three three percent okay so you are looking you know uh new zealand dollar to move during that period of time okay so the next breakout to happen aggressively to the downside all right so this to break down sharply and continue to keep falling all the way back to that previous low so if you don't get a breakout during that period of time during that rate decision and price go back up all right and test that previous top so still going to be a sell opportunity from that top i'm not anticipating that to happen but in case if you know if you know central bank new zealand central bank is going to be super hawkish bullish then you can expect that new zealand dollar to rise against the 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 yen back to that top i'm not expecting that they have almost shown all their cards yeah so push you know and uh, rate hike three percent rate hike is very much priced in already okay so i don't think so we're gonna have another leg higher so more likely we're gonna have a short breakdown after that uh, red scene and that's what you're looking okay and looking to join that uh, breakout for more downside okay so in the previous setup we were expecting price to break down there okay during the cpi data we got a breakout okay but you know price managed to get back in all right the reason because we had a rate the cn on it on the new zealand dollar this week that's the reason new zealand dollar remains strong ahead of that okay now market is already priced in for that and now setting up after the, the what's going to happen after the the cn okay so there is a very nice correction setting up over there on new zealand dollar for a short breakdown to the downside okay so if i'm going to pull out my indicators on it you are simply looking price to stay below 
those one hour moving averages okay stay below those one hour moving averages and break down aggressively to downside so breakout when breakout comes then you are looking to continue to keep dragging lower okay so there is a possibility that price slightly can push higher before the rate is seen okay like that we may see a, you know abc move like that so if i'm gonna you know i have shown the possibility you know what kind of wave you are looking on these gen pairs in my weekly video analysis weekly market outlook analysis yeah so so as sec and yen so you already got that move next leg lower on that that pair okay so you are looking similar kind of move on these pairs okay and your your target your target gonna be this previous low for short to medium term okay that's gonna be the target 82 but longer term target you're gonna be much lower okay so it is simply setting up for a big big bearish wave cyclical bearish wave okay so short term medium term target gonna be 67 and longer term target gonna be much lower so you're gonna you're gonna get plenty of trades all the way back to that previous low all right so these are the targets you are looking right now on the kvn chart all right so hope that uh, makes sense and you got the idea that what you are looking and this might be a last uh, you know top on uh, kvn and uh, there is a possibility that the kvn may not test that 86 price you know anytime soon in the future for 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 longer run okay so try to catch that uh, for longer term and uh, hold it hold it all right for longer term and let that run so thank you we'll see you back again in another setup until then bye